In this video, we're going to do what I like to call adding the smarts to the application. So what we're going to do is when the user is on this screen, so on the section 1, the section 2, and the section 3 buttons, when they click this button, we want some things to happen. To do that, we need to create some advanced actions. We're going to create three of them. So we need to go under Project, Advanced Actions. Now, we don't have any actions in the program right now, so we're going to create a new one. And this one is going to be called Section 1 Show Check. Okay. So now, we need to tell it what to do. We want it to do three things. First, we want to show the check mark. That's an image called Section 1 Done. Then we want to assign the Section 1 variable with true. Remember, we created the variable, and it was defaulted to false. Well, we want to change it now to true. Then, we want the program to jump to Slide 1 menu which is right here, so it'll take you back to the main menu. So what we'll do is we'll select our things here. So the first one is we're going to show. So we have to go through here, there's show. And what do we want to show? We want to show section one done. Okay, the next thing that we want to have happen is we want to assign. So we'll just click through here, assign. So this is now assigning a variable with a piece of information. So the variable that we're looking for is section 1. Do we want to use a variable or do we want to use a literal? Those are our two choices. A variable would be another variable that we're using in the system. That would be like if you wanted to create a count so you'd use a variable plus 1 or something like that. We don't want to do that. We want a literal. And that literal is going to be true. So the last thing we need to do now is to jump. So we want to jump to slide, and we want to jump to slide one menu. And then we're done. So we're going to save that as an action. So now we're going to close this. So now that we have an action, it's going to be here on this button. So under the actions, on a success, we want to execute an advanced action and that advanced action is section one show the check so when we preview this here we have our falses we click our section one button now when I click this button remember those three things should happen and there you go there's your check mark image and the variable has changed to true so now we want to go do that for the other three actions. So we'll go back into project under advanced actions. And you can see there's our action that we just created. So we're going to create a new one called section two show check. Okay. And again, this time we want to show What do we want to show? Not section one done, we want to show section two done. And then we're going to assign. There's our assign. And we want to use the section two variable. And this variable again is a literal. And we're going to assign the literal of true. Okay. Now in the last thing we're going to do is we're going to jump to the slide and we're jumping back to the same slide, so we're jumping to one menu. So now that one's done. Okay, so let's create a new action. So since we're here, we can click this little button here and it will create a new action. And we'll call this one Section 3 Show Check. Okay, and again, we're going to show section three done. That's our third check mark. We're going to assign the variable section three with the literal of true. 
And then the last thing is we want to jump back to that slide. And did I miss it? Yes, I did. There it is. Jump to slide, one menu. And we're going to save that as an action. So now you can see that we have three, one, two, and three. So we're going to go ahead and close this. And we'll go ahead and on section two, we need to execute an advanced action. Section two, show check. Okay, now on the third one, we have to do the same thing. Execute advanced actions. Section three, show check. Okay, so now we're going to save this. And let's preview it. If we go to section one, and click our button, we get our check mark, and we get true. Section two, Let's go back, we get our check mark, changed it to true. Section three, got our check mark and true. Now, notice there's no continue button yet because we haven't told it to do that. That will be in our next video.